Uh, good evening. Today we will be making um, a wire coil, and then we'll cut that, and we'll start making some chain mail. We're gonna do a basic chain mail, European mail. It's also known as four and one. I know two other forms, and that's Lord's mail and Byzantine. But we will get to those in a later video. Let's start with basics. All right, so what you're gonna need is some 14 gauge wire. You can get this at uh, any tractor supply, uh, hardware store, it's just electrical fence wire. Um, we're using 14 gauge because it makes better armor. Anything smaller, you can risk the chance of the rings popping open. Uh, eight inch bolt cutters. Two round nose pliers. You can use a needle nose, just saying that and a power drill of some kind. Uh, the platform you see here before you was at one point a pallet. I've taken one board off and nailed it to the sides here but, and cut it in half. I used, I believe it was an inch drill bit. I, I, you know, I used bigger than what I needed so I get more room to flow. This is a 7 16 rod and that one I know for a fact because I looked over it so many times. And for the back part, your, any rod will do, just as long as the wire free spins. And I use fish eye bolts to hold it in place instead of trying to cut notches or use, what are they called? The sliding lock latch. Um, anyhow, that's not the point. So, we're going to attach the drill to this rod here. And I, let me take it off real quick. See, so as you can see, it's not rounded, it's triangular, and I did that on purpose so the teeth and the drill can actually bite and grab it. Alright. Now, how big the coil you want is up to you. If you want to make your uh, wire shinier, or get rid of the, um, what's it called? Galvanization, you can use scotch Bright. Alright, there we go. Oh, nope, come on, gotta fix this real quick. Didn't go according to plan. That's why we gotta make it up. All right. I suggest a slow speed to start, because it's easy to mess up. Fish it in. Okay, we're we'll seeing how this goes. We're gonna go forwards. All right. From the art of peace, I learned that understanding others is to know trauma in all forms, Suffering in all forms, pain in all forms, and loss in all forms, discomfort in all forms, and being without in all forms. But it is also knowing relief, comfort, reward, and obtaining in all forms. Emotional, physical, spiritual, and mental negatives are treated by positive. Positive is just as simple as the negative, but harder to keep. To get positive, you have to work on and in your negative. It doesn't matter at the speed you learn, just that you learn. Just because your interpretation is different, it doesn't mean both are wrong. To stop learning, practicing, and applying is to stop growing and to make poor for God. And that's good so enough. So keep learning, keep now practicing, and keep cutters. applying. Snip the back end. It, you're going to hear it violently twist. That's okay. That's absolutely normal. It's kind of what happens when there's no more tension on anything. As you can see with the back part here. And we're going to clip this off. That's one coil. All right, let's get to the cutting part of it. All right, taking our coil that we just made and our eight inch bolt cutters, we're gonna snip off the axis here. We don't need that. Now that we have it nice and lined up, we're just gonna go down the line. On average, I can get three. Uh, sometimes, depending on how far the gap is between each ring, I can only get two. It just makes it quicker. Um, first time I did this, I would recommend leather gloves because you will get blisters. And, but if that don't bother you, then don't worry too much about it. I see I can make pretty quick work of it. I mean, I just started and we're almost halfway there. See, that's what I mean. Depending on the gap, you can only get two. So let's finish snipping that. 
That's a little deformed. That's okay. One, two. Nope. Only getting two. Um, if you want to see how to build the rig, um, the person who inspired me or showed me how to do it, I should say, uh, is stormthecastle.com. On YouTube, he's known as Epic Fantasy. Uh, so if you want, you can give his channel a look. Uh, he does a lot of the things I do. Which, no, I'm not saying I'm copying him or he's copying me. It's just we share a mutual interest, and that's the best way to look at it. He likes blacksmithing. He does paper mache, uh, origami, dioramas, stop, stop animation. Um, so far, I just did the blacksmithing armor and origami and paper mache part. I have no interest in um, doing dioramas, which that's wait no that's a lie because I did make the lotus pond and that is in fact a diorama. But I have not built a trebuchet. Uh, he has. Uh, he's also done an Assassin's Creed um, wrist blade. He's done quite a few things on his channel, actually. So I highly recommend you give him a look. See, two minutes and 15 seconds in, and we're already halfway there. All right, so I'm going to finish this up, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, so I finished cutting it. What you're going to do is you're going to take five ringlets... You round those pliers, and we're going to close up four of them. Sometimes you just feel it grind, sometimes you'll hear it kind of pop. It all depends on how you um, cut it. Now on the last ring, you're going to open it up, and then you're going to drop your four on. There you go, you have one, four, and one. Now, it's called four and one because you have... Four rings around one. It's also called European mail. <clears throat> so, we're going to make another one. Actually, we're going to make two more, three more, and then attach them. So, you're going to need 15 rings. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, whoops, five. All right, so I'm going to stop you. I'm going to put these last two together, and I'm going to show you how we attach them. All right, so now we're going to take two rings here. We're going to open them up. Now, we're going to take these top two and connect them to the bottom two. Whoops. Top. Bottom, then through the bottom, into the top. Oh, come on, come on, there we go. And then we're going to close it. That's one. Now we're going to do the same thing to this one. And then we're going to put it, and then we're going to stitch these two together. So, again, 
to the top to the bottom you might have to manipulate a little bit all right from the bottom to the top and now we close that All right, so those two are connected. Now we need three more rings. And we're going to open and close them and stitch those two together. Now this one's a little different. Well, it's not really a little different, but you're going to go in between the two rings. Like that. You're going to go through the other two rings. You want to hit right in between them. Come on. And then we're going to close it. Open it again. Go through the top and to the bottom, top, close it again. We're going to take, and then again, you're going to open, whoops. So, top, bottom, bottom, top, right into the center. There you go. That's how you stitch that together. I got two projects I've been working on. They've been taking... Actually, one took a month. The other one, it's been a four-year project. I'm going to show you those real quick. All right. This is a headpiece I did. This took me about a month to do. Uh, you can also learn how to do this from Epic Fantasy. That's where I was inspired to do it. Actually, I was inspired by Viking armor. I just didn't know how to do it. And I was already subscribed to Epic Fantasy when he showed... Well, showed how to do this piece. All right. And then the other one I've been working on for four years. I'll grab that too. All right, so this is a chainmail shirt. It's almost complete. <laughs> He's got to finish up the back and do the sides. This has taken me four years. According to a couple people within the community, it takes them, if you dedicate your time to it, three months. But with me, it's more of the motivation factor. If I'm not very motivated, I just kind of put it off. And I'm really close. But uh, I believe a full shirt of mail is anywhere between 20 to 30 pounds. So, and this is all that European foreign one stitched together and made out like that. All right. Well, thank you, and we will see you next time.